So, a couple of months ago, a member of the Crafty Clan asked me if it was possible to show you how to make a lab. Not just any old lab, but specifically an old black lab. So, this is what I wanted to show you today. Now, I have plenty of tutorials of the basics of making a dog, so I'm just going to kind of whiz through this. I think the exciting bit for this is how we age the dog. And also making something in black is a nightmare for you to be able to see what I'm doing. Hopefully this works okay. Um, I will link to the playlists for all the step-by-steps for making a dog. This is a kind of intermediate project, so I would suggest getting in, practicing some of the basics, but quite simply a black lab, is two basic shapes, a circle that you're seeing here and then a tube. So I'm using some black, carded black slivers um, in Corridale, I believe these are, but whatever material you have worked, I would go for carded bats, anything like that, not roving or tops because that's far too difficult to work with. So I've made a ball and then I've made a tube for his head and his muzzle and attaching them. I would always suggest having a reference photo of the dog you want. Um, you can get them off the internet, you'll see my reference photo soon or your own dog. So once I've attached the tube on, I'm felting backwards and forwards on the underside there to make sort of the roof of the mouth to make a curve, an indentation into the roof of the mouth. This makes it easier for me to visualise things, although you won't see it in the final piece very much, but I like to do this. You'll see this in my tutorial for the open mouth dog as well, which I suggest you looking at. As you can see, I've got some little examples. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm going to make a separate mouthpiece. And I'm also thinking in my head, where are the eyes gonna go and sculpting in by felting a little bit more in that area. Always looking at what this looks like, what bits I want to be smaller, what bigger. Um, the, the areas where the eyes are are quite hollowed and you know, just looking at the shape of a dog's head and then don't just get carried away felting in the one area, you've got to move backwards and forwards all the time. And then add in a little extra fluff where you need it. In this case, what I'm doing is labs are slightly jowly. There's they're not as jowly as some of the bracky breed bracky bracky breeds, short nosed dog breeds. Um, but what I'm taking is two similar sized pinches of the black fleece and just felting that in to make a hangy down jowly bit. I really don't know how to explain this any better. I just put the fleece onto the side of the mouth and then felt it into a hanging down shape. So you get a sort of N shape um, when looking ahead at his nose. Um, and then adding if there was any, I think there was a little line here that I didn't like the look of, so I just add a little bit of fleece over the top to cover it up, felt it all in till this is nice and firm. Um, I am, you can see sometimes here as well, pushing the nose in and felting into the nose. This shortens the nose, but also because we've sort of got the jowls on, if you don't do too much, it just kind of makes them a little more, more curved, a little more hangy down as well, which kind of helps with the look of the animal. And every so often just felting all around till it's nice and smooth. I think I took it away in front of the tally for a minute or two there. And then I'm picking out the size of the eyes I want. These are just glass eyes. I believe I, I finished on the six millimeter glass eyes. And then you can use a tool for this. I just use my felting needle, which is a 38 twist at the minute and just felt repeatedly in the one area and that creates a little tunnel for the peg of the eye to go into. At this case, once, well, once you're happy that the eyes actually match up, this is something I really struggle with. If the pupil size or the size of the eye is slightly out, it can look a bit like the dog's had some kind of a brain hemorrhage. Now, at this point, if I was making this for sale or for keeps, I would then glue in the eyes, but I'm just doing this for a fun demonstration, so I've not glued in the eyes. Now I want to build up his brow a little bit more, and building up at anything is just a case of adding a little bit of fluff and then felting it into that area to sort of build up the area. So I'm building up down the center of the nose and then up and around over the tops of the eyes. 
And some breeds of dogs, sometimes I would also add eyelids to him to give him a more closed look. Now, this is what I mean about you can't see very well in um, black dogs. So I tried to use a light to show you a little bit better here. So I'm thinking of the shape of the eyebrows in the dog. They seem to have, it's kind of, if you think from, from the centre of between the eyes that's a little bit higher and it moves down out to the side to give them a kind of mournful look and then a felted building up a little bit of a ridge underneath the eye as well. The labs especially in some other gun dog breeds tend to have a little more prominent I suppose it's a cheekbone now that I come to think on it. Um, so just build up the areas that look like they need built up. Also in the case of this black dog um, it's kind of a little bit difficult to see what I've done, but just take your time. You can see it's just adding pinches, sculpting it into place with your needle, needle adding more pinches as you feel the need. And this is what he's looking like just now, or kind of what he's looking like. It's a nightmare to see black. Um, so then another big pinch of fluff, and I'm just felting this to make his ears so they're just like large triangles so what I would do is pull out and here's my stooge dog he makes an appearance finally pull out two similar sized pieces of fluff and felt them into big triangles you can see I felted away on this and it felts down to a smaller size now looking at the stooge dog the top of the ear is is attached to the head quite wide apart. He has quite a lot of forehead before his ear goes on. So I attach the ears quite wide apart and then a little bit down the side of his head as well. Um, ears tend to go in in a slightly triangular shape. So the end of the ear is, um, the, the center of the ear pokes back a bit and the sides are kind of in slightly. So it makes a triangular shape. Now the ears are on a bit. Um, I've just attached them on. I'll come back and felt that some more later, but I also wanted to get the second shape done. This is a U shape for the for his chin, basically. And then I take it away, felt it a bit more, felt the ears on firmly. And then once they're attached in that triangular shape attached to the, the top and side of his head, you can just fold them over and I'm really carefully felting along that line where they're folded squeezing them into position they kind of curve in in the center again so I just felt that so it holds the shape now this is the first bit of aging the dog we can do at this stage and you can see my great drawing skills appeared on our stooge dog it is some aged up chin <laughs> most black labs will start with any kind of whiting they'll get a little bit on their chin even a fairly young lab a fairly young dog has a little bit of white there so I start with that even before I finished making the full dog the little bit of white under his chin and then I fit his chin on felt it firmly in place and at this stage we only have one more thing if you if you didn't notice I've, I've not forgot the nose there's a reason it's not on yet um, but to put the grey on, le well white in this case, less is more. You just take out a fine amount and spread it out a bit. Let it really drift out. You don't want a dense patch of white, you want it to spread out. Now the reason the nose isn't on yet is the dogs can have a little bit of white on the muzzle as well, just coming out from the nose pretty much. The reason I'm felting all different directions is so that black fibres can poke up on top of the white and white can pull down through the black. And I noticed it looked a bit too heavy handed in the greying so far. So I just removed some. So we've got a little bit there and then I'm just going to add his nose and then we'll have the first stage of our lab. So I take a small pinch of black, roll it into a ball, a sort of tri a rounded triangular shape, gently felting it between my fingers and then felt it onto his nose. So another reason to add the greying here is it's really, really difficult to see the black nose against the black muzzle. Um, so if you have a little bit of white behind it, it just shows the difference. Right, so the 
The next stage where aging is, you can see it appeared in our stooge dog, is the inside of the eyebrows. They often whiten up a little bit. So this would be your, your first stage of middle-aged dogdom. Um, he's just getting his, his eyebrows on. So again, just lightly, don't make it too stark white. There can be little wisps and everything there. And that's a bit of white. So let's age his face a bit more. You can see, don't laugh at my digital art, but I've aged up his face more. The next stage is on his muzzle, just around the, around the kind of smile line, coming out from his nose. Don't cover his nose, obviously. His nose doesn't go grey. Um, and then just dragging out a gentle, well, teasing a little bit of uh, out around his lips, down from his nose. And that's the next stage of getting a wee bit older. And you're going to have a little bit more coming out above his nose as well, heading up his muzzle from the top of his nose. Um, and the more you felt these in, the more it kind of blends and looks really good. You can spend a good deal of time getting the shading in. Okay, our dog's getting a little bit more elderly. So those eyebrows, the grey there has extended a wee bit. And we can add a little bit more to his muzzle as well when we get round to that. So it goes from the lips, it's increasing up the side of his muzzles a bit. And then... As you can see, they're finally getting much older stage. If you want the dog to have a whole load of character and look more, much more older, is some gentle grey Vs underneath the eyes, as you can see in the stooge dog in the top right hand side. So get these get these bits felted in. It can it can even, as he gets older and older, these can connect up and they have big panda eyes and everything. But I think this is a good example of how to really demonstrate that your black dog is an old dog without going too overboard. So that's above and below eyebrows and round about the muzzle, but not making it all white, focusing more around the lips and the and the jowls that way and starting to lead it up the top of the nose from the nose. As you can see, as I'm playing around with, with him, his ears are straightening out a bit, so I'll have to felt that in some more as well. You're always, when you're felting, looking at what's happened, what does, the, if I'm working on one bit, what happens to the other bit? So you have to keep keep playing around, keep thinking this is your what the dog is as you're doing it. But there you go. You have now aged up a black lab and I think the old dogs look amazing. So thank you so much for the suggestion. This was great fun.